Would you like to start flipping houses? In this video, I'm gonna show you the four simple steps to get started right away. Before we get started, this is your first time here. My name is Nick Estes. I'm a seven figure real estate investor and it's my goal to help a thousand people create financial freedom. All right, so let's get into it. Let's go through the four simple steps to start flipping houses, all right? Now, I know a lot of people wanna get into flipping houses. Obviously, there's a lot of money in this. There's a lot of TV shows. It's pretty glamorized, right? But I wanted to be able to show you how to do this step by step and how to get started really if you have no experience, all right? So let's get into it. Step one is to define your target market, all right? So I highly recommend you figure out exactly what area you wanna start flipping houses in. Now, this is really important because you need to become a expert in this area. You should really research it and talk to some realtors to figure out what houses are selling for and really become an expert of what houses are selling for and what investors are paying for properties that they are flipping. Now, this is really important because you need to know this information so you don't get yourself in a bad spot where you overpay or you think you can sell a property for more than it's actually worth. So it's really important you really niche down your area, down to even specific neighborhoods, and know exactly what's going on in those areas, okay? More than that, really also define the type of houses that you're looking for and what type of houses are selling in that area. Once again, if you're just starting, try not to have a very broad spectrum of all kinds of different areas and different property types. Really focus in on what you're trying to do. And then as you get more experience, you can broaden that out a little bit, but become an expert in one area and really know your numbers. That's number one and very key. The second step is to start gaining access to money, all right? If you're gonna be actually flipping a house and buying a house and renovating it, reselling it, you have to have the money to do that. And if you're just starting off, you probably don't have all the funds yourself. Now, the easiest way to go about this is to find hard money lenders, okay? So you can do this by just simply Google searching hard money lender in whatever city or metro that you are in. Now, this is the easiest way to get capital. Now, these are pretty much private investors that are lending money, and you can expect to pay anywhere from probably 10 to maybe 14% interest and maybe a couple points. So it is costly, but you gain access to the money. You just have to figure that into the overall cost of doing the deal, right? You have to have the money. And the beautiful part about using hard money lenders is they don't really don't care about your personal credit or how much money you have. They based on giving you the money on the deal, right? So if you have a good deal that's profitable, they will give you the money to do that. Now, most will want anywhere from maybe five to 10% down. So you would need a little bit of money. You could always borrow that money from someone else, a family member, a friend, and give them a cut of the profit. There's always ways to get that 10%. But for the overall big picture, hard money lenders are gonna be the easiest way when you're first starting to get funds to start flipping houses. The third step now is to go out and actually find contractors, okay? Once again, we're gonna be renovating these houses. So you need to have a team of contractors to actually do the work. Now, this is very important that you have really good contractors on your team that can renovate these properties and they have a track record of getting jobs done on time and on budget, okay? Now, this is one of the biggest mistakes people have and where you can really go wrong is by hiring the wrong contractors and they end up charging you 10, 20, 50% more than what you budgeted for the property. And now you're gonna end up with a very slim profit margin or even worse, losing money. So it's really important you go out and find good contractors. Now, the easiest way I found to do this is to go out and simply find out who other investors are using for contractors. Now you can do this a couple ways. You can just go out and start driving around. This is very simple. You can go around, drive around and look for houses that are being renovated. When you get in there, you can just Start talking to the contractors, see who's doing the work and start making these relationships. You could also go right to the town or the city, pull up these addresses and see who pulled the permits. Usually the contractors are pulling the permits on these deals. Now you can kind of look into a little bit further, find a renovated house, go to the city, see who pulled the permit and contact those contractors, right? Now, what you can do here is if you see one contractor that's on multiple different job sites, you can probably assure that they're, they're doing a good job, right? So find someone who's working for multiple investors. They have a track record, they have a big team and interview a few of them and always get a few different bids, right? So at this point, probably don't have a property in mind yet, but you start making these relationships. 
So once you do have a deal, you have someone to go to and start getting some estimates on doing the work. All right, and the fourth step here, obviously now we have to get the deal, all right? Now you kind of have your market defined, all right? You have your money lined up, you have your contractors lined up. Now the last step is we have to go out there and find a deal, okay? Now this is really critical. So you have to get out there and you have to start generating leads. Now, once again, if you don't have a ton of money, the easiest way to do this is just write off the MLS, all right? This is gonna be the easiest way, low-hanging fruit. You know these people wanna sell. And the whole idea here, though, is you have to make a lot of offers. Get out there, start making offers on properties, even if they're low-ball offers, right? Know your numbers, dig into it, and just start making offers. And now, if you wanna do lead generation, now this is great, too. If you don't have much of a budget, one of the easiest ways of going about doing this is simply going to your county courthouse, pulling all the people who are in pre-foreclosure. The best way is just to go knock on their doors and let them know you're looking to buy a house in the area. A lot of times these houses are run down and they make perfect flip properties, okay? Now, there's thousands of ways to generate leads. We'll save that for another video. But the last step here is you have to get out there, start generating leads, making offers on properties. And like I said, the easiest way is right on the MLS. And a little trick you can do here is simply set up auto searches, okay? So anytime a property comes up for sale in the area that you're looking for, that maybe has keywords in it in the description, right? Fixer upper or handyman special or investor, any type of these keywords, you will automatically get emailed that deal every single day. You could also set up searches for anytime a house comes on the market under a certain price point or a price per square foot, right? So set up these searches, get out there, start knocking on some doors, generate some leads. And now you have all the four steps that you can go out there and start flipping houses and making good profits. I'm telling you right now, once you start doing this, you will be addicted and you can make great income. And just one of these houses, if done right, can totally change the financial situation. It can give you financial freedom for years to come. All right, so those are the four steps. Define your target market, all right? Find the money. Find the contractors, find the deal. If you can do those four things, you're well on your way to financial freedom. If you're someone who really wants to get out there and start flipping houses, but you've been struggling in the past and you actually want some help doing this, just go to legacyinvestor.com. You can go there, set up a call with me or someone on my team, and we can talk about how I can personally help you start doing deals like this and totally change your financial future. And remember, if you like videos like this, make sure you give me a comment down below and like and subscribe and go to all my social channels right here. I would love to talk with you and help you start doing deals. See you in the next video.